Moon From the Guardian perspective our Moon is an inorganic structure, and did not come from our solar system. The Moon is an artificial satellite that is locked into orbit with the Earth body's magnetic core. It was brought here during the last war between the Pleiadians and Reptilians. The Moon is a craft stolen from war and stripped to be refitted for its current use as a reptilian and grey alien base. Apparently, there are many beings living inside of it, even now. Its use was for practical reasons to be able to have a Moon base in close proximity to monitor and adjust the magnetic fields of the planet. The Moon base has technology that keeps the magnetic spin rates that keep the connections open to the wormholes they have created. Our solar system is damaged because these entities were creating rips and holes in time as well as, in organic wormholes. Moon and Black Cube We have recently tracked the introduction of the artificial satellite Moon base in which the proportions of the Moon were made to be proportionate to a time cycle that is identical to the series of cataclysmic floods that were used as weapons in previous timelines on the Earth's surface. This recon was for the purpose of completely destroying the possibility of the use of the Moon base and artificial magnetism to generate another catastrophic flood, as NASA dutifully warned us as the dire message given from their Archon Masters. The radius of the Moon is stated to be 1,080 miles, the diameter of the Moon is stated to be double that at 2,160 miles. If we multiply the diameter by 108, we get the supposed distance between the Earth and Moon of 233,280 miles. Moon and Black Cube The lunar matrix of false magnetism transmitted from the Moon is designed to emit artificial waves in the geometric shape of eight lines of reflective symmetry in octagonal cymatic shapes, and the internal angles of any octagon is 1080 degrees. The octagon shape has a 1080 Hz frequency that can be doubled harmonically to form into and transmit black cube geometries with a 2160 Hz frequency. The Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem is the second Grail Stargate that was built with an octagonal floor plan aligning it with the Moon base and therefore a black cube matrix. We can notice octagon geometry can be found in many ancient structures built on powerful ley lines throughout the earth grid as well as black cube designs used for religious worship such as in Mecca. This all goes back to the moon and lunar control. The moon's artificial matrix became an embedded source of magnetic control with a primary octagonal pattern made in sound waves to manipulate and harvest massive amounts of energy from the Earth grid network. The octagon group in located in Davos, Switzerland and is the same group behind the current World Economic Forum and fourth wave of the transhumanist Great Reset that have a black sun chain of command extending to the moon and other planets. These same lunar entities and their preferred bloodlines have been administering an assortment of surface cataclysms by obliterating chosen demographic areas for decimation. The moon as a magnetic weapon has been a part of their arsenal. Against human beings on the surface, in which gratefully, during this next cycle will not be operational due to guardian host protective intervention. Insertion of Moon Satellite the insertion of the lunar matrix was accomplished in part through dragging in the moon satellite to be used as a base of operations and for transmitting lunar broadcasts for magnetic field manipulation. This led to human female reproductive distortions such as enforced breeding programs and alien hybridization designed to overpopulate the earth for the purpose of the ultimate blood sacrifice during the planned end time wars for the Armageddon timeline. War and killing is normalized in the negative alien agenda group's death culture and used for satanic rituals of blood sacrifice to harvest loosh for the alien gods. Armageddon was their final conflict plan to sweep up massive amounts of loosh through setting off a deliberate global cataclysm that would kill most of the inhabitants of this planet, thus stealing their soul energy at the point of death passage. 
this timeline will not ever manifest and that alien nightmare is over. Humanity is no longer alone. Our true godparents and spiritual family have returned for us during the opening of the Stargates during the Ascension Cycle. Saturn Base Transmission to Moon Additionally, it has been recently observed that the solar system Stargate 7, located inside the planet Saturn was also transmitting artificial intelligence beams through the moon that corrupted the ultraviolet wave spectrum in our planetary magnetosphere. The impact of several technologies used from this Archon base, seem to have been recently neutralized in some of their effects like 7D reversal technologies that allowed for having operable hibernation zones, used in phantom areas as ambush pockets, to get into the earth field quickly though parallel doorways. The parallel doorways appear to lead directly into Lake Titicaca underground water base, which have been closed off and secured. Many underground bases scattered throughout the Earth are in some kind of spiritual or material conflict for control and security. Correction of this particular AI, distortion appears to help people on the Earth, to potentially align with higher frequencies and to have a better functioning crown chakra, or 7D energy center. The moon transmissions have been especially difficult on the human mental body and the ability to actually have a brain and nervous system that actually functions well. The anticipation is for an easier clearing out of, glandular, system implants, pineal cages and related crucifixion implants, that can be more easily dissolved from the lunar distortion impact as a result. For those on the ascension path. This will gradually lead to clearer thinking, higher functioning glands and the ability to build the perceptual bridge that accesses the functioning of the higher mind. 5D Tara Tara exploded millions of years ago as a 5D planet and as a result, was sucked into a reversal black hole which manifested 12 spherical layers of the planetary bodies in our current solar system including the 3D version of Earth we inhabit in this time vector of the Universal Time Matrix. Tara and Tiamat were a binary star system. Tiamat's explosion and, Maldek's explosion in 3D solar system, destruction is the reason our 3D planet has an artificial satellite which is our moon. Moon Chain Moon Chain beings are soulless beings, like the Greys and Zetas that have been cloned and used by the Anunnaki, Draconian, etc. whom have placed these beings as workers on various planets. Moon chain races are a part of the refugee races that came from exploding planets in our solar system. Moon chain lineages are also cast-offs from other cycles of evolution between multiple planets in our solar system. The moon chain lineages have been directly involved both karmically and technologically with purposely creating the sexual misery program in the human race during this dark age. The sexual misery program is to distort, manipulate and abuse the sexual energies, therefore spiritual energies, in human beings incarnated on this planet. The Baphomet fields are intricately involved in all deceptions and trickery relating to the seducer archetype which promotes the sexual misery programming of the lunar forces or moon chain lineages. Transfiguration of Lunar Force Transfiguration corresponds to the element of solar fire, which burns away the shadow forms in the lower chakra centers. The lunar forces, moon, connected to the dark mother. The lower shadow forms start to rise in our body to be consumed in the transfiguring solar fire. The new levels of intracellular light illuminate the lower shadow body reflections, and we are able to sense them, when we could not sense them before. Transfiguration defines many different gradations of the ascension experience, where there is shadow and lunar, these will rise from the cellular memory in the body to be seen. Generally, we will perceive the shadow rising into the area of the body where the memory is attached, either physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. We witness the shadow rising and all of the negative emotions and pain that are associated with it in our memories, 
identities and timelines. The shadow is something to learn how to embrace and not fear, as it rises to surface awareness, it is showing us exactly where we need to heal. The shadow highlights weakness in our light body that needs to be strengthened through spiritual dedication and devoted meditation with the inner light presence.